Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Nintendo Switch emulation on Botticera version 35. And this video is actually gonna help you out if you have never set up Nintendo Switch on Botticera ever before, so you're going in completely from scratch, or if you have set it up previously on a previous version of Botticera, now you've updated to version 35 and you're not able to actually jump into your games. That's the issue that I actually experienced. I had this running on a previous version of Botticera. I started diving into Switch games on Botticera version 35. It looked like the games were gonna boot up and then it kicked me right back out to my game collection menu. So this video again is gonna fix that issue as well as show you how to do this all from scratch. So let's dive into it and get started. All right, so to kick off this process, we're gonna navigate over to our web browser, and then we're gonna go over to archive.org. Once you get to archive.org, you're gonna see there's a search bar in here where we can search for things. So we're gonna click on this search bar and we're gonna type in Botticera V35 switch update. Go ahead and hit enter on our keyboard. That's going to bring up the only search result at the time of this video right here. So we're going to click on this and now we're gonna to wanna to download this. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says zip and I'm gonna click the little icon that populates in right next to that. So we go ahead and click that. It's gonna automatically start to download up here. It should be fairly quick. So we're gonna let it do its thing. We'll come back once it's completed. All right, so that just downloaded up here. So I'm going to access it down here through my file explorer. I'm going to drop into downloads and here you can see Botticera switch update V35. So we're going to need to unzip this because as you can see, this is a zipped folder. So you wanna have something on your computer that enables you to actually unzip and extract this. I use 7-Zip, I'm a big fan of 7-Zip. So since I have that already installed on my PC, all I have to do is right click on here. I'm using Windows 11, so if you're on Windows 10, then it's gonna look a little bit different than this, but for Windows 11, you're gonna go down to show more options and then because I have 7-Zip, I'll just hover over 7-Zip and I'll move over to Extract Files. I'll select that, confirm it with OK, and it's gonna extract. It's going to take a matter of just a couple seconds here. Already done, and it's located right below the zipped version. So we're gonna double click on this, open it up. So once we open that up, you're gonna find that you have three folders within. You have your BIOS folder, your ROMs folder, and your system folder. And then down here, we just have a README. This just gives you some instructions on how to do exactly what I'm showing you guys. So once we're at this point, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our BIOS folder, and then we're gonna go into switch from within there. So this is where we're gonna drop in our product and title keys. So you're gonna to wanna to locate your product and title keys for Nintendo Switch emulation. You can do this online. And I'm going to actually go into my flash drive. This is where I actually have these saved. So I have them right here. I'm going to copy these. And I'm gonna go back over into the switch within the BIOS. You can see I was in BIOS, then switch and I'm just gonna simply paste these in. So I'll go to show more options and I'll click on paste. That's gonna add product keys and title keys in here. So now if we just back out, we'll go back out here and now we need to add in our ROMs. So I'm going to just add in one ROM for Nintendo Switch and I also have that located over here. That's going to be this Kirby game right here. So same deal, copy that, we'll go back over and I'm simply going to paste that in. So this should take just a matter of a couple seconds. This is a pretty small game. A lot of Nintendo Switch games are actually very large. This particular one is small. And this is actually a XCI file. So you can see under file type, XCI for this Kirby game. Make sure that is the file type that you use for your Nintendo Switch ROMs. So we'll back out yet again. So now everything so far has been for the Yuzu app. If you want to go in and do the same thing for the other emulator, which if we go into now system, double click here, and then double click on configs, we can access the Ryujinx emulator. Uh, bear with me if I'm not saying that correctly. I believe it's pronounced Ryujinx. Um, so if we want to do the same thing here, you can go in and access everything within these files. So we have the Vulcan one and the regular one here. I'm actually not even going to bother with these personally. Um, 
there are some games that work extremely well with these, but for the games that I'm going to be using, and I'm not adding a whole lot of Nintendo Switch games to my build right now, the Yuzu emulator works great. So that is all we need to do. So we're going to back out, and now we're going to select all three of these. I'm going to copy them. So I'll go down to show more options. I'll select copy, and I'm going to actually move them over onto my Samsung flash drive. So I'm going to simply go in here, paste them in, and I'm actually going to connect this USB flash drive to my gaming PC running Botticera, and that's how I will add these into my Botticera version 35. So this is gonna take about a minute and a half to complete. Once this is done, I'm actually gonna go in here and just remove my title, prod keys, and my ROM from my flash drive because I no longer need those. They're already added into these folders here. So we'll let this do its thing, another 60 seconds and we'll come back here and continue the process. All right, so we're down to our last five seconds or so. There we go, it's been fully completed. So just going to remove these just so there's no confusion when I connect this USB flash drive over to my gaming PC running Botticera version 35. All right, so I've just removed those key files as well as the ROM. So all that is on my USB flash drive are these three folders here that we're going to be adding into our Botticera version 35 build. So I'm gonna close everything out, shut down this PC, fire up Botticera version 35, and we'll take it from there. All right, so here I am booted up into Botticera version 35. So next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit F1 on my keyboard. That is going to open up our file system here. And now from here, before I connect my flash drive with all of the folders that we just added onto it, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm gonna navigate over on the left-hand column here to the share folder, which is where you should land automatically, but just to be safe, just make sure that you're on the share folder here. From here, we're gonna navigate over to the system folder. So that should be all the way over on the right-hand side. We'll double click here to open that up. And now we're gonna go over here and you're gonna locate your switch folder. Now. This is if you have updated your build from version 34 or maybe even a version prior to version 34. If you're coming in here from scratch, you've never had Switch on your build before, then you're probably not even going to have this folder here. So you don't have to worry about this. But if you do have it, you're going to highlight it. You're going to go over here on the top left corner to edit. And you're going to go down and click on remove which is right here. So we'll go ahead and click remove. It's going to say, do you want to delete the file switch? We're going to confirm yes. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our configs folder right here, which should be about dead center. We're gonna double click on that, let it load in. And now we're gonna locate our other two switch emulator folders. That's these right here. And we are going to do this exact same thing. We're gonna go up to edit and we're going to go down to remove. We'll confirm that with yes, and that's gonna wipe out both of those. This one just has to go through the little loading process there, but takes all of about a second or two. So you can see neither folder is located in here anymore. So now we'll go back to our share folder over here just to make sure we're fully backed out. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my USB flash drive with those switch folders that we added previously. So I've just put that into the USB port on the front of my gaming PC. You can see that it's populated in over here on the left hand column. So we're going to click on that and we're not going to worry about this one here. That's just a folder that my flash drive adds on here. So we're going to highlight these three folders. That's going to be your BIOS, your ROMs and your system. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on copy. Now I'm going to go back over on the left hand column to my share folder. And now I'm just gonna right click on any of the open space down here. Make sure you're not clicking on any individual folder or document. You're going to just click, right click on any open white area here. And we're gonna simply click paste. And that's going to start the process of adding in our three folders here. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm this with overwrite down here in the bottom right corner. And we'll do that for each of these. 
And the reason I'm overriding these, if you are setting this up for the very first time, then you're not going to have to do half of this. I actually have these in my system, these ROMs and keys already in here because I updated Chubata Serra version 35 from 34, where I actually had full access to all of my Nintendo Switch games. When I went and updated Chubata Serra version 35, they no longer worked. So I still have the folders in there for the ROMs. That's why I have to go through the process of overriding those. So we've got about 35 seconds left for all of these to add in. Currently, it's working on adding that Kirby game in here. So we'll let this do its thing. We'll come back once it's been completed. So that process has just completed here. So I'm going to go up here to the top left corner where it says file, and I'm going to select close window. Now that's going to kick us back out to Botticera. I'm going to open up my main menu. I'm going to drop down to game settings. I'm going to select this option and then update games lists. We're going to confirm it with yes. That's going to update everything that we just put into our system. And now we should be able to access our Nintendo Switch collection and jump right into a game. So let me locate my Switch collection on here. There it is right there. So we're going to jump in here. And I actually had most of these titles already added in previously. But we just went in and we added the Kirby Star Allies ROM. So we're going to launch this game and we should be able to jump right into it. So it's gonna load in your shaders. Now it only does this the first time that you launch a game. It's gonna save all of that. So next time you jump in, you'll be able to jump in much quicker. All right, and here we go. Kirby is loading up. We have full access to this. And we can start jumping into the game and enjoying all of our Nintendo Switch games. So now if you have gone through this process and maybe you don't have as many games added in as I already had sitting on my uh, setup already, we can actually, let me jump back out of this really quickly. All right, so I just jumped out of Kirby Star Allies. So let's say that you didn't already have a whole bunch of Nintendo Switch games added into your system that just weren't working. You can go through the process now of locating ROMs and actually I'll back out. I'll jump back into my file system here. Now the only thing you'll have to do to add additional ROMs is just go up here to the left column again, double click on ROMs, and then you're just gonna simply locate your Switch folder. So everything's alphabetical order within here. So we're gonna locate it, it's right here, double click. All you have to do now is simply add your games right in here. So if you have a game on your flash drive, for example, you'd go in here, just simply copy it, go back over to ROMs, locate switch and paste it right in here. That's all you have to do from this point on to build up your Nintendo Switch collection on Bodicera version 35. All right, you can see from this video, pretty straightforward in terms of setting up Nintendo Switch emulation on Botticera version 35, but can be certainly a little bit confusing, especially if you have updated from a previous version where everything was running flawlessly. Now you're in 35 and you're experiencing that frustrating issue where you're not sure why your games are actually kicking you right back out. So hopefully this was an easy fix for you guys. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, Give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next video.